Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to create bottom navigation bar or you can say bottom app bar in Jetpack Compose. It's very similar to our previous video in which we created navigation drawer. If you want, you can go through it. Now, let me quickly show you the demo. This is how it looks. We have a bottom app bar with five items in it. Home, search, add, notification and profile. So if I click on search, here we are on the search screen. Likewise, notification, then profile. And also, if you will click on this add floating button, for now it will throw a toast, but later in upcoming video, we will create a bottom sheet for this add button. Okay? Also, I said this thing in my previous video and I am again telling you that in XML, we usually have a certain way of creating bottom empire. But in Jetpack Compose, we have multiple ways to create bottom and path because Jetpack Compose is very flexible. So if you will search on internet regarding bottom and path in Jetpack Compose, you will find different types of code. But again, the goal will be the same. Like for example, I'll be using bottom and path icon button composable. Others may use different. Got it? Now let's create it. Open Android Studio. Choose Empty Activity. Name it as bottom bar JC. And then, first we will start with the prerequisites. As we will be using nav graph for obviously navigation purpose from one screen to another screen. So for that we will require navigation dependency. Hence, go to Gradle. Here, add navigation dependency. I have mentioned it in the description box. Click on sync now and done. Then go to color. Add a green color. And done. Then go to theme. Here add green as the primary color. And also the status bar color as green. Then we have five items in bottom app bar, right? Home search, add notification and profile. Out of which add will be a toast and others will be a screen, which means we need to create four screens. Also, as you know, Jetpack Compose has no concept of fragments. So instead, we will create a Kotlin file. Right click on package, create a new Kotlin file, name it as home. Let me quickly write the code. And done. So we have a composable function as home. Inside it a box. Then column with alignment and arrangement as center. And the text as home in green color. That's all. Basically this code will display a text in the center. Same way we will do it for other remaining three screens as well.
and done. See, we have home, search, notification and profile screen. Now once all the screens are created, then we need to initialize it in a sealed class. But what is sealed class? Sealed class means a class that has a predefined and a finite set of subclasses. So for us, our subclasses are home, search, notification and profile. Got it? So right click and create a new Kotlin file. Name it as screens. And then let me write the code. And then, this is a sealed class screens. Here, each data object represents a specific screen and is initialized with a corresponding string identifier. That is same, home, search, notification and profile. Got it? Now comes the important part. So go to main activity. Remove the default code. And then, here we are supposed to do two things. First is to create the bottom app bar and second is to create name host and that's it. So let's create it. First create a composable function as my bottom app bar. And then make sure to call it here inside the set content. Then inside it we need to initialize few things such as Navigation controller. Context. And selected. You already know both of them, but what is selected? We will use selected for icon color. Like if I click on profile screen, then the selected icon, which is profile icon, that should be in white color and others should be in gray color. So initially selected icon is home. And I have already explained mutable state of and remember in one of my previous videos, so you can go through it. Then below it, we will create a scarf fold. It helps multiple components to work together. In our case, we will be using bottom bar, icon button and floating action button. So first, let's start with the bottom bar. Inside it, bottom app bar composable. For the parameter, I'll only give container color, means the background color of the bottom bar as green JC. Then inside it, we will have 5 items in it. So for the 4 screens, I'll be using icon button and for the add, I'll be using floating action button. Got it? Let's create it. Icon button, whose two parameters will be on click and modifier. So for the on click, listen carefully. Initially, the selected value for the icon will be home. Then as the user will click on the home icon, it will navigate using navigation controller to home screen. And lastly, as we don't want stack up screens behind, we will use pop up to zero. 
to avoid multiple back button clicks. Got it? Second parameter is modifier. Weight as one float means all the icons should be equally take space on the bottom bar. So we will give one weight for each one of them. Now inside icon button, right icon. This is where we will assign the icon. So icon as home. Content description as null. And size as 26 dp. Then tint, see here carefully. Tint means the color of the icon. So let me write the logic first. And done. Now see, if selected value is equal to home icon, then the icon color will be white, else gray. What does this mean? Means if the user is on home screen, then home icon will be in white and others will be in gray. Got it? And done. Our first item is ready. Next item is search. Let me write the code. And then, see, we have a default icon as search, then it navigates to search screen, then wait as one, and same icon logic, if selected value is search, then icon will be in white color, and others icon will be in gray color. Second item is also done. Then third item is add floating action button. But we will create fab in a box. Why? Because we want our fab to be in a center. For that, we will require a box. So write box. Give parameters as modifier, weight as 1f, padding as 16 dp, and content alignment as center. Then inside the box, we will create a fab. On click will be a toast as open bottom sheet for now. Later we will create a video on it. Then icon as add. Content description as null and tint as green. There is no selected logic for add fab. Then fourth item is notification and fifth item is profile. So let me quickly create icon button for them as well. And then see we have a notification item and profile item. You can see along by using the preview code. Okay. But first let's focus here. The last thing that we need to do is nav host. So write along with me. Padding values. Nav host with three parameters. First, initialize nav controller. Second, start destination as home screen. Third, modifier is padding. See, to navigate from one screen to another screen, we do require screens, nav host, nav controller and nav graph. Everything is done, only nav graph is remaining. 
So for the name graph, we will create four composable for each screen like composable screens home with home class. Likewise, I will create for other three screens as well. And then see here we have home, search, notification and profile. And that's it. Our bottom map bar is ready. Now let's run the app and see. Look, this is how it looks. Initially we are on home screen. Then if I click on profile, here we are. Likewise, I'll try other items as well. It works perfectly fine. And also if I click on add fab, Look, there is a toast. Great, right? So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.